Hi guys, so when it comes to Brexit, the Tories will do two things. They will suggest that there isn't a problem, and if that doesn't work, they will find someone, of course not themselves, someone else to blame for it. Now this has played out during the entire Brexit saga. First there isn't a problem, then it's the EU's fault. There isn't a problem, it's business that's at fault. Even during the pandemic, the public were blamed for the government's mishandling. Well, the latest is to blame the Road Haulage Association for leaking information at a meeting they claim they didn't attend. Let's hear what the Transport Secretary Grant Shapps had to say about all of this. Uh, that uh, we need to ensure that people uh, are reassured uh, now that this uh, rather sort of manufactured situation has been created. Because as I say, there's enough petrol in the country. It's it's uh, it's if everyone goes second, and buys it on say, the same day. F- f- uh, hang on, hang on, just for a second. Want to make when sure you say this manufactured, when you say this manufactured situation, manufactured by whom? How? Well, as I say, there was a meeting that took place about ten days ago. Was it uh, made up? Uh, a, a, a private, a, a private meeting in which one of the haulage associations decided to uh, leak the details to, uh, to, to, to the media, and that has created, as we have seen. Now, the Road Haulage Association have come back and said, "We did not." The head of the Road, Road Haulage Association said he was not in that meeting, so he didn't leak any information to the public. But well, let's hear what else Grant Shapps had to say. Uh, quite a large degree of, of concern. People naturally react to those things. The, the good news is, as I say, there is plenty of fuel. The bad news is, if everyone carries on buying it when they don't need it, uh, then the, you would continue to have uh, queues. Uh, sooner or later, everyone's cars will be more or less filled up uh, and there won't be anywhere else to put um, fuel. It's not like, um, say, the toilet roll crisis at the beginning of the pandemic, where people could sort of stockpile it. It's very difficult to do that with, with fuel. Um, and so it will come to an end. But we just appeal to people to uh, be sensible, fill up when you normally would. We've got this big package in place uh, today in order to help alleviate the pressure. Uh, and we ask people to do their part. Uh, now we've got this package in place doing its part. Now, who do you believe? Do you believe Grant Shapps or do you believe the Road Haulage Association? Because, as I said before, the Road Haulage Association said we did not leak any information to the public or to the media. Do you believe Grant Shapps? Because I'm not sure I do. I just want to highlight this. This is from Wikipedia. It says here, Shapps uses, um, Shapps uses the names Michael Green, Corinne Stockhart and Sebastian Fox attracted converse, conver, uh, controversy in 2012. He denied having used a pseudonym after entering Parliament, and in 2014 threatened legal action against a constituent who had stated on Facebook that he had. In February 2015, he told LBC radio presenter Sheila Fogarty, let me get this absolutely clear. I don't have a second job, and I've never had a second job while being an MP. End of story. However, <laughs> however, in 2015, in March 2015, Shapps admitted to having a second job whilst being an MP, okay, and practicing business under a pseudonym. In his admission, he stated that he had over firmly denied having a second job. What the hell does that mean, over firmly denied? Under the name Michael Green, Shapps had offered customers a get rich quick scheme costing uh, $497 and promised customers a toolkit that would earn them $20,000 in 20 days, provided uh, provided they follow its instructions. (laughs) Does anyone believe that would be true? In March 2015, Dean Archer, the constituent previously threatened with legal action by Shaps, threatened Shaps with legal action in return, it seems. So... Do you believe a guy who has used different names to convince people to buy Get Rich Quick toolkits? Um, Or do you believe the Road Haulage Association who said we were not at that meeting? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.